What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Uh, I'm here today with an exciting new product that's in development right now called the NTC14 by Thornwave Labs Inc. Uh, this is a, a product, the, uh, the CEO of the company approached me a while back to, to help them with, with some R&D and to, to do some reviews and some um, early uh, informational videos on this this product that's that's coming out and it's really cool and I think it's perfect for for subscribers uh, I do not have any financial investment in this I'm not being paid for this at all I just want to show off something that I believe in that's very cool this is actually a device that is a charge controller a power meter um, and a whole bunch of other stuff all rolled into one and it's in a, it's a very small form factor as you can see this is my hand it's much smaller than my palm or about the about the size of the actual palm but smaller than my hand and you can see on the side it has uh, MC4 connectors built in um, this is the input side where you put uh, the input power from your your solar panel and then on the output side you have some Anderson plugs You've got, uh, you know, the uh, USB data port. Um, this is this is a prototype unit, so this is uh, and it's a very good one. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the build quality of, of a prototype like this. I mean, it's solid. There's nothing there's nothing rattling. This case is really solid. It's, it's it seems to be made of aluminum. Um, you know, these connectors are not flimsy. They're not going anywhere. Um, you know, it's got the branding on the side. It, everything's great, but what I'm the reason I'm saying that is because this temperature sensor um, is probably going to go away. Uh, probably not necessary necessary for the target market of this particular product. And then there's an LED status light there to uh, to give you some diagnostics and some some other information. Uh, this does have built-in Bluetooth. That's one of the things that I like about it. Um, so you can connect this to your phone and um, you know change settings right there in, in a, an app on your phone. Uh, you can monitor the power output. Um, it will actually keep track of the power produced. So you can you know monitor the amp hours produced by your system. Um, it can handle different types of batteries. So um, you know if you've got lithium ion or you've got lithium iron or some other type of uh, <clears throat> uh, battery technology that's not used, you know, that is not uh, able to be used with some charge controllers. This thing can handle it, and it you can actually go in and in, in the settings of the software. I'm not going to show the software in this video, but I'll show you in a follow-up video that you can change the uh, all the different parameters to create your own charging profiles if you know what you're doing. Um, so really, really cool. And um, I'm really excited about it because if you have to buy a charge controller um, and you have to buy a power logging, data logging device, um, I mean, you're looking at easily four or five hundred dollars. Similar products to this from, from other companies, I won't name any names, but they're going to be in the thousand dollar plus range for this type of feature set and technology. So. Uh, a price has not been set on this particular unit, but I'm assured by the, the CEO that it's going to be much, much less than that. I mean, substantially less. So it's going to be an affordable tool, and I'm actually looking forward to using this. Uh, this is a prototype that, that I'm going to return, but when we start getting some actual production units, I'm going to use one of them in my uh, solar power generator um, that I've been doing the video series. Uh, that'll be a great addition to that particular type of a project because then it gives me all of the different uh, power log you know the logging capabilities uh, it it provides it, it fills the niche of that uh, charge controller uh, and and just I mean it does everything that I need in a portable very portable form factor and all that stuff so perfect for my my applications a couple other cool things about this particular product is is just its sheer flexibility I mean it can handle different input voltages and output different voltages so it kind of acts as a voltage regulator in that respect so you know uh, and, and it can operate as just a power supply um, it doesn't have to have solar coming in you could have a 12 volt power source 
coming in. You could have a 24 volt power source coming in and you could output whatever voltage you want basically on the other side. Um, now it is limited to 14 amps of output um, current. Um, that's basically a thermal limit to the product. It's also subject to ambient temperatures. So, um, you know, if it's a 90 degree day and this thing's outside, you're not going to be able to do the full 14 amps out of this thing because it will overheat. So, uh, you know, but if it's a 20 degree day outside, you'll be able to easily do that and, you know, no problems at all. Um, the output voltage uh, is, is up to 30 volts, so that will um, charge a 24 volt uh, battery bank. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you know you can work with 12 or 4 or 24 volt uh, systems on both on the incoming with you could have two 12 volt uh, solar panels in series to, to make a 24 volt um, incoming power, which obviously would be well over 30 open circuit, and that will automatically um, take that and and uh, charge a 24 volt or even a 12 volt battery bank. It's all configurable in the software. Really, really cool. Really, really flexible. It, uh, it works with, with Windows, works with uh, Linux, works with Mac, uh, works with uh, Apple phones, works with uh, Android phones, um, really, really cool stuff. So I'm really excited about this. I just wanted to introduce this product. I'm going to do more in-depth videos um, at another time, show you how it works, connect it to my solar panels, all that stuff in a follow-up video to this. But just wanted to introduce this. I'm going to put some links to so where you can get more information to their Facebook page, to their website, some things like that, so you can check it out. And like I said, expect in the next couple of weeks some more in-depth videos. Thanks for watching, guys.